Hello, good morning to all of you, my dear students. Today, in fact, I am a Podhutile. We have been discussing regarding the various physiographic divisions of our country. The first one that is the the Himalaya mountain or the mountain ranges, the fold mountain ranges, which are located in the northern part. Then we have discussed. Then we have learned about the youngest physiographic division. That one is the northern plain. Then the Great Indian Desert, Thar Desert. Then in last class we have discussed the fourth one. That one is the Peninsular Plateau. And today mainly we will discuss about the Western Ghat and the Eastern Ghat in detail, which is the fifth physiographic divisions of our country. And the sixth one we know that that is the coastal plain. But in this class mainly we will discuss in details about the Western Ghat and the Eastern Ghat. And we will look into that actually its location, where it is located, how it is formed, what is its significance and from the exam point of view from where the examiner may ask the various questions. And from exam point of view it is very very important because number of questions are arises from here only. Okay guys, Western Ghat it is located parallelly on the western coast of India. That is the Konkan coast and Malabar coast of our country. Right? It is located on parallelly on the western coast of India. On the western coast of India. Right? Fine. It spreads around 1600 kilometers from north to south. From north to south. Right? From the north to south. It is located on the parallel on the western coast of India. It extends around 1600 kilometers from north to south. In fact, one more thing we have to know. Here the peak, here the mountain peak that rises from north to south. Right? Clear? In fact, it spreads or it traverses on six number of states. How many states? Six number of states. Begins with like Gujarat, then Maharashtra, then Goa, then Karnataka, one, two, three, four, then Kerala, then Tamil Nadu. So, Western Arts, it is passes through six number of states in our country. In fact, the Western Ghat that is known in various places in various names. It is known in various places in various names. In Maharashtra and in Gujarat it is called as Sahyadri. In Maharashtra it is called as Sahyadri. In Karnataka and in Tamil Nadu it is called as Nilgiri. It is called as Nilgiri. And in Kerala it is called as Anna Malai. Okay. Anna. Anna. Anna Malai. Right. Anna Malai. Okay. Or Kataman Hills also it is called as. Right. So we understood that Western Ghat it is located in the western part of our country mainly the western coast of our country it is located in the southern part of our country mainly in the south western part of our country like parallel to the western coast of india which length is around 1600 km it in fact it is one of the longest ranges of the entire world and it is the second longest ranges in our country after himalaya fine and it passes through six number of states named as Gujarat from north, then Maharashtra, then Goa, then Karnataka, then Kerala, and then Tamil Nadu. Okay, this is an important question, guys. Six number of states, like most, when I go to Gujarat, 
Goa chemical reaction, but you shouldn't, right? It passes through six number of states and it is known in various places in various names. In Maharashtra, it is called as Sahyadri. In Tamil Nadu and in Karnataka, it is called as Nilgiri. And in Kerala, it is called as Anna Malai or Kadaman Hills. Fine. Okay. In fact, in fact, it is one of the longest ranges I said. Okay. It is in fact it is formed or it is formed. It is very old, guys. It is very old. In fact, in fact, it is older than the Himalaya. It is older than the Himalayas. Fine. Would you like any relate to Western Ghat? Can can state the Gary H. Can can state Chota State? Get the kilometer extend each. Okay, and where it is located. In fact, we can say it extends from Tapi Valley to Katamon Hills. Okay, fine. In clear, in fact, 21 degree north latitude to around 11 degree, 11 degree northern latitude of our country. Fine. Okay, Western Ghat, I already told that it is older than the Himalaya. It is older than the Himalaya. Himalaya is a fold mountain, but here it is a block mountain. Here it is a block mountain. Fine. Here it is a block mountain. A important characteristics of Western Ghat is that it is continuous in nature. It is continuous in nature. Right? Mainly the western part that is continuous or we can say that is regular. That is regular guys. Yes, certain passes are there. Okay, God means certain pass is there. It means that certain road and railway passes is there. Which connected? Now which separate like named as Tal Ghat, okay, Bor Ghat, Pal Ghat, okay. Talghat is one of the passes which separates or which connects from road and railway named as the Mumbai. Mumbai with Pune. Borgat it connects Mumbai with Nagpur. Please check it on this one. Talghat and Borgat and Palghat. I will tell. I will tell in detail right now on. So what we understood that Western Ghat it is older than the Himalayas. In fact, it's a block mountain. It's not a real mountain, right? It's not a real mountain. It's a block mountain, right? Clear? Next, it continuously flows, okay? And it's regular in nature, right? Fine. And certain passes are there which connect, okay? As otherwise, it could not have any roads. It connect what? These passes that connect, that connect Konkan coast with the Deccan plateau. That connect Konkan coast with the Deccan plateau. Fine. So we understood. What we understood? Where it is located, then where it is formed. Okay. And how it is formed? Fine. Next. In fact, the western ghats, it is higher than the eastern ghats. In terms of altitude, as well as in length, okay, okay, it is higher than the Eastern Ghat. In fact, its average altitude is around 900 to 1500 meter. Its average altitude is around 900 to 50 meter. 900 to 50 meter, no, sorry, 1500 meter, fine. 900 to 1000 500 meter. Okay. Here the various numbers of peaks are there. And the peaks height is increases from north to south. The peaks height is increases from north to south. Clear. The peaks height is increases from north to south. Okay. From north to south, we can say like that. Right. The peak height is increases from north to south. 
द वेस्टर्न घाट कैन बी फिजियोग्राफिकली इट मे बी क्लासिफाइड इन टू थ्री कैटेगरी द नॉर्दर्न वेस्टर्न घाट राइट द नॉर्दर्न वेस्टर्न घाट देन द मिडिल वेस्टर्न घाट और सेंट्रल वेस्टर्न घाट फर्स्ट वन विच वन नॉर्दर्न वेस्टर्न घाट द नॉर्दर्न पार्ट देन सेंट्रल वेस्टर्न घाट और मिडिल वेस्टर्न घाट एंड द लास्ट वन इज द सदर्न वेस्टर्न घाट लेट मी टेल इट इन टू मैथ राइट नॉर्दर्न वेस्टर्न घाट मिडिल वेस्टर्न घाट एंड साउदर्न वेस्टर्न घाट फाइन clear this is the western ghat which is located in the paralali and the western coast of india fine which travels around 1600 km through the six number of states starting with the starts with the gujarat then maharashtra goa karnataka kerala fine and here eastern ghats are there they meet at the nilgiri i will tell in nilgiri in fact in detail so next western ghat it is higher than the eastern ghat its altitudes the average altitude of western ghat it is around 900 to 1500 meters and the the height of western ghat that increases towards south height of western ghat increases towards south pehle kana bujhta hai tar mane in on average height jete hoche tor average height adhika hoche se peak man par all right like the highest peak of western ghat that is named as annai muri What is that? Annai Muri, that is located in Kerala, and the height of that is around two thousand six hundred ninety-five meter. Which one? Annai Muri, that is the highest peak of Western Ghat. Which one? Annai Muri. Where it is located? Kerala. What is its altitude, guys? Two thousand six hundred ninety-five meter. Fine. Where it is located? In Kerala. The second highest peak of Western Ghat, that is Doda Betta. Dodabetta that is located near the Nilgiri. That is that's height is around two thousand six hundred thirty seven meter. Fine. In fact, the so what we understood from here, we have understood clearly that the height increases towards south. In fact, in the northern part, the okay, Kalsubai is there. Then Mahabaleshwar is there. Number of Kudremukh is there. Number of Peaks are there, but their height is below than the two thousand meter. But that one we understood. So the height is increases towards south. And what we understood that three divisions can be classified the Western Ghat, the Northern Western Ghat. Okay, that is called as many Sahadri extends from Gujarat to northern part of Goa. Okay, here the average. Height is around 1200 meter, but certain peaks are there that is more than 1200 meter. Named as Mahabaleshwar, Kalsubai. Kalsubai is the highest peak of Kalsubai is the highest peak of Maharashtra. A question may be come. What a question to put there, Parun B. That Maharashtra highest peak can be. Okay, if you take only Maharashtra highest peak can be, that is Kalsubai. And the second highest peak of Maharashtra, that is the, I think second highest peak that is the Mahabaleshwar, and where one of the very important rivers named as Southern Ganga, okay, or Dakshin Ganga, that is Godavari, originated from Mahabaleshwar only, originated from Mahabaleshwar only, right? So the Northern Western Ghat understood, and then the Central Western Ghat or Middle Western Ghat. In fact, in the Middle Western Ghat or Central Western Ghat, it is quite well known. It is quite famous because of dense forest. Okay, because of dense forest where the tropical evergreen forests are found. And in fact, one of the very important characteristics of Western Ghat is that it is the major regions behind the weather of this region. In fact, here the rainfall it extends from more than 200 to 700 centimeter of rainfall they received, and this is one of the major regions where more than 50 major dams are found in this part only in the Western Ghat. More than 50 major dams. In fact, 80 percent of hydropower generations are carried out from Western Ghat only. 80 percent, 80 percent of hydropower generations are carried out from 
वेस्टर्न घाट्स ओनली फाइन गाइस तो बुझला कि नै हम ई पट्टा हम वेस्टर्न घाट के तीन भाग रे विभक्त होला नॉर्दर्न वेस्टर्न घाट मिडिल बस सेंट्रल वेस्टर्न घाट हम सेंट्रल वेस्टर्न घाट विषय डिस्कस करू जन जेने कि बहुत सारा गाना घंच जंगल छे राइट चिरहरित मन चिरहरित चिरहरण नै रहो आई मीन व्हिच व्हिच वन ट्रॉपिकल एवरग्रीन फॉरेस्ट आर देयर राइट and where the density of forest is more it means that as the density of forest is more it means that what it provides habitat to the huge amount of biodiversity it provided to the huge amount of biodiversity it provides habitat to the huge amount of biodiversity that is the regions it is also called as it is also one man recognized as world heritage site in the year 2012 In the year 2012, question I see, like a note, like a right. जहाँ जहाँ मैं कोई जन टिकटें लिखी दूँ थी वो. Okay, so the World Heritage Site, UNESCO declared the Western Ghat as World Heritage Site in the year 2012, where the national parks, wildlife sanctuary, biosphere reserves from That Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Kerala, all these have been included within that, right? In which year? Can you write? Write declare Kerala as a World Heritage Site? 2012. 2012. Clear, sir? Okay. And here, in the Central Western Ghat, I am going to discuss for you, sir. But Middle Western Ghat, Jhent is not the Western Ghat or Eastern Ghat, Missy. And where? That is Nilgiri. Where? That is Nilgiri. So the questions may be asked that where the Western Ghat and Eastern Ghat meet, and the meeting point of Western Ghat and Eastern Ghat is Nilgiri. In fact, Nilgiri is one of the districts located in Tamil Nadu, and it is mainly located in the Tri Junction. Tri Junction means let Western Ghat and Eastern Ghat that one meet at Nilgiri. So it is located. As I said, tri junction. It means that Karnataka, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu. In fact, here are the peaks. There are a large number of peaks are there. The highest peak of Nilgiri that is Doda Betta. As I already told, Doda Doda Betta that is the that height is around 2,637 meters. In fact, that is the second highest peak of southern India. Fine. And in fact, more than more than 24 peaks are there. Which height is around or more than the 2,000 meters that is located only in Nilgiri. Nilgiri is in fact one of the biosphere reserve is there. It is well known. It is also called as Blue Hills. Nilgiri, Nilgiri mana pahara, Nilgiri mana what? You know that Blue Hills. Okay, fine. Where it is located? Fine. It is one of the districts. In fact, in fact, वो तो मुट्ठे बढ़िया जिन से कहा ना कि Here, large number of hill stations are also there. In fact, the highest hill stations here that is located that is called as Uti. Uti, right? What is that? Uti. That is in fact the summer capital of Madras. Just put in step for what? You Uti or Aau Uti? Na kana? Mane? Just mention in comment box, right? So Uti. Fine. Next one. आउ आमे गुटे जिनिस देखि दिना वेस्टर्न घाट केन केना देखना तीनटा भागरे डिविजन नॉर्दर्न वेस्टर्न घाट सेंट्रल आउ साउदर्न नॉर्दर्न घाट आमे देखि सल्लन ऑलरेडी नॉर्दर्न गुटे जिनिस मु गुटे पासेस कहिथिले पास बा जेने कि रोड बा रेलवे कनेक्ट हि छे गुटे काना ताल घाट आ गुटे काना बोर घाट इने आ गुटे पास अछे जेनटा कि काण कहसन ताल घाट आ बोर घाट गला इने पाल घाट कहसन काण कहसन Palghat. What is that? Palghat. Fine. That is very very famous. That is very very well known, guys. That is very very well known. Palghat. Palghat. Fine. And how it is well known? That Palghat that extends around thirty to forty kilometer. That separates from Central Western Ghat or Middle Western Ghat to Southern Western Ghat. In fact, that Palghat only allows the wind to flows into the central part of that. Which is called Kenta Palghat. 
पालघाट दहा दहा ते सेपरेट करू चे मिडिल वेस्टर्न घाट व सेंट्रल वेस्टर्न घाट और साउदर्न वेस्टर्न घाट के इनफैक्ट इन साउदर्न वेस्टर्न घाट कॉल है अच्छा राइट तो पालघाट के अंदर जान ला हाँ तो नेक्स्ट वन इस साउदर्न वेस्टर्न घाट सदर्न वेस्टर्न घाट रे ही हाईएस्ट पीक ऑफ वेस्टर्न घाट इज लोकेटेड नेम्टेस अन्नाई मुड़ी नेम्टेस अन्नाई मुड़ी अब अन्नाई मुड़ी टेक क्या था ना अच्छे इनफैक्ट से ताकि उटे अच्छे इदुकी डिस्ट्रिक्ट कॉर्सन कारण कॉर्सन इदुकी डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड दैट इन इदुकी डिस्ट्रिक्ट आमाज तो लर रिवर्स and that is the key dam that supply around 80% of water to the Kerala. So we understood the entire part of Western Ghat now. In fact, can you have a world heritage site early? In fact, it is one of the okay. Like Raga, take care, relax, cool age of panty appear. So, air energetic heat repair is to know. Fine. Next one. Which one? It is the important part. Very, very important one. It is also declared as one of the biodiversity hotspots of the world. It is one of the eight hottest hotspots. How many biodiversity hotspots are there in the entire world? 36. And it is one of them. That is the western heart and slogan it is also called as Okay, so it is one of the biodiversity hotspots. I'm Janma actually biodiversity hotspots for like Okay, biodiversity hotspots or the mana it is mainly declared by conservation of international. Okay, that Kahake biodiversity hotspots mainly declared for a which regions may be declared as in biodiversity hotspots. They must have two major characteristics. First of all, more than 1500 of vascular plants. Or, and then, or endemic species should be there. It should be reached with the endemic species. Means those species which are found in that particular regions, this would not found in any other regions of the world. Clear. And another one, they must be threatened. They must be threatened and in danger. And day by day here the populations are increasing now. So due to increasing population, due to organization, the deforestation are happening and that lose the livelihoods or habitats of which one? Both flora and fauna and that resulted devastation of all there. So we understood now guys, would you like any? It is one of the biodiversity hotspots and the total number of biodiversity hotspots in the world is 36. So biodiversity hotspots, mainly where it is rich in flora and fauna. Huge amount of flora and fauna should be there. And another one, another one that they must be threatened. And world is 36 biodiversity hotspots. So that represent only 2.5% of the world's geographical area. But they have huge amount of biodiversity of the world. Fine. In fact, this one clear. In fact, this is very important. There are 325 species. How many species? 325 species have been endangered or declared as an endangered. Fine. Clear. Declared as an endangered. And more than 50 persons of amphibians are found. In fact, one more thing. These regions that covers around 6 persons of geographical area of our country but more than 30 persons of biodiversity of our country found only here only more than 50 persons of amphibians are found only in these regions okay nilgiri tahir and many more in fact we need to come for what sabu state or national animal national tree mention me in comment box right all the state all the state man mainly chota state janta ki western ghat flow kariche okay to so, biodiversity hotspots bhi ta ke pahe hoche bujhela me the in front out e janna it is significance kana tar tal lagi ki tar weather pattern change ho hoche next it is a source of or livelihood for the both flora and fauna in huge in number 
फाइन वेस्टर्न घाट आउ पासेस पूरा तो जानना ओके दैट इज कंटीन्यूअस भी जानना ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज द ईस्टर्न घाट नेक्स्ट वन इज द ईस्टर्न घाट ऑनलाइक वेस्टर्न घाट व्हिच इज कंटीन्यूअस इन नेचर एक्सेप्ट इन सर्टेन पार्ट्स द ईस्टर्न घाट्स दैट एक्सटेंड्स फ्रॉम महानदी टू साउथ पोर्ट दैट एक्सटेंड्स फ्रॉम northern part of odisha then andhra pradesh little bit part of chatisgarh little bit part of uh, telangana then here andhra pradesh then here tamil nadu okay and it is in discontinuous ranges the basic difference between western ghat and eastern ghat is that this is discontinuous tar mane ka mainly odisha re kichhi gude the range mane continuous hoche but fir it is discontinuous tar mane kichhi independent ranges hoche and it is this the regions behind it is discontinuous is that because major rivers are there which dissected it because they falls in the bay of bengal like mahanadi which comes from amarkantak then godavari they already told from mahabaleshwar then krishna and that uh, original from tungabhadra then kaveri so all these river they dissected to the various form the dissected as a result and this is not continuous in nature how we could in this one are required for us but janma it is very interesting hai we would in this koi thi western ghat ro purana ek sorry himalaya part ro western ghat ta older ba purana western ghat ro ar purana hala eastern ghat ita tar man aravali ro range pa ka pakke but it is aravali is the oldest one hala eastern ghat is older than the western ghat तो सबन ओल्डेस्ट कैन द अरावली तापर ईस्टर्न घाट तापर वेस्टर्न घाट तापर हिमालय अरावली देन ईस्टर्न घाट देन वेस्टर्न घाट देन हिमालय फाइन क्लियर तो ईस्टर्न घाट में मैं कहना जा रहा इट इज डिसकंटीन्यूअस और इरेगुलर और डाइसेक्टेड बाय वेरियस रिवर्स मेनली द महानदी गोदावरी कृष्णा एंड कावेरी एंड इट इज मेनली कंटीन्यूअस इन द मेनली इन ओडिशा राइट वेयर द important peak one of the very important peak named as mahendra giri is located which height or which altitude around more than 1500 meter right around 1501 another the highest peak at present it is the jindagadda where it is located you will mention me in comment box the highest peak of eastern ghat that is jindagadda right that is in fact another basic difference is that the average altitude of western ghat is 900 to 1500 meter but here the average altitude is around 600 meter around 600 meter and it is very very in fact this is also very well known for its biodiversity here around large number of elephants are found large number of butterflies are found is aburabi tar national नहीं तब और स्टेट एनिमल एंड स्टेट ट्री स्टेट प्लावर मेंशन मी हाँ राइट इन द कॉन्वेंट एंड वेर दे मीट आई ऑलरेडी टोल दैट इज नीलगिरी हिल्स दैट इज नीलगिरी हिल्स देखा क्या हर किसी के डाउट अच्छे मुझे पत्र और राइट इफ एनीबॉडी हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ डाउट्स आस्क मी गाइस ओके आस्क मी फाइन आउट एक बार ही � हिल स्टेशन लार्जेस्ट हिल स्टेशन सोचे लार्जेस्ट हिल स्टेशन जो नोचे तार आउट एंड ना गना उटीरा उटीरा ना गना उनसे कहा वो राइट है ना एंड इन फिर है ना बुटे इस कोई दिल एटी एटी परसेंट कोई दिल है ना hydroelectric and waters no it is around 66 this thing it is around 66 fine he got here how did she tell tell me tell me guys sixty-six percent of water but eighty percent of hydropower generation fine right another thing as i already told 50% of indian amphibians 
I already told 67 percent of free space is mainly found. Okay, and 30 percent of the wall is an elephant. Okay. Our Kalsu by the height the highest peak in the Soholoso Chalice meter. Soholoso Chalice meter. Fine. Our the Thalgat, Borgat, our Palgat. That is very, very important, guys. Okay. It is very, very important. Next. Any other things? Any other things? In our church, Kudre Mook. Kudre Mook is the iron ore. Iron ore means the southern part of Kentana, mainly Milsi Koyala. Kudre Mook is the central western part of the middle western part of the KSC. Central western part of the middle western part of the KSC. Then we will discuss about the coastal area. Let the, in the coastal part, which one? This one is called the Northern Kirkar, Koromandal Coast. In Northern Kirkar, only the Eastern part little bit continuous, but over other where it is Eastern part little bit continuous, but over other where it is very much dissected. And here it is called as Konkan Coast and it is called as Malawar Coast. Here is somewhere it is also called as Karwar, Karwar. Or Karawar coast, Konkan, Karawar, and Malawar coast. Fine. There and here some passes. We understood. Okay, next. Where it meet? We understood. What is its length? We got it. And here the major ports are there. How many major ports are there? How many major ports are there? 13 major ports are there. One of them major port is which one? That one is the private. Fine. So in this way we understood or we have completed the Western Ghat and Eastern Ghat in detail. Okay. How did the car is it out there? Ask me in comment. Okay. I will tell you next class. Okay guys. Have a great time.